Um, yeah, but I mean, that's something subtle enough for them to just go, whoever did that measurement is a liar. I don't know, whatever. But um, yeah, this thing with the with the, and then he just like, oh, Neil Neil said it. Neil no, said it, which first of all, no, he did not, and second <laughs> of all, he's not the president of science, so I don't know what. Like, yeah. they love to do that. Just like Neil is what you guys think is the number one. Si- no, he's just a science communicator. Yeah, he's, he's a guy a who decided I'm going to stop doing science and I'm going to start explaining science. Yeah. Uh, Flat Earth is so, free so to do that. That we've actually got a, a name for it. Actually, it was a name that was coined by an ex Flat Earther called Seek Truth, Speak Truth, who's in the chat at the moment. Hey, dude, he's coined that as the Neil deGrasse Tyson fallacy. Because flat earthers oh, okay. all the time bring out, well, Neil deGrasse Tyson says, like the, the famous one mm. of Neil deGrasse Tyson said the earth moved under a football when he did the tweet that um, the winning kick at a football match would have been helped by a one eighth of an inch deflection to the right due to the rotation of the earth. And of course, he's talking mm. about Coriolis force over a very short distance. He's like, I yeah. did the math and you there know. would have been at that speed a tiny, tiny deflection. And flat earthers and took I'm that I'm sure as, he's probably right. Yeah. And Flat Earthers took that as Neil deGrasse Tyson saying that the Earth spins underneath things. Oh, well, when, why doesn't the Earth spin underneath a helicopter? And that started a whole thing, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> well, yeah. then don't get me started on the pear-shaped. <laughs> yeah, or, or him going, that stuff is flat. Flat Earthers love that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so the Neil deGrasse Tyson fallacy, that, that's one to remember. Good one, yeah.